This video is sponsored by Parks Project. We're here with Wonder the Porcupine, and it's pretty cold out right now. It's about 15 degrees Fahrenheit, and my nose is starting to go numb. Wonder is about six months old, which makes him old enough to not need his mom anymore, but still young enough that he's still experiencing a lot of firsts, like this is his first winter. I'm continually surprised by how resilient animals that live in cold environments are. I'm sitting here with my cozy Parks Project fleece, and all of my winter like gear on, and that does it for me. But Wonder here, he doesn't even need a hat. Wonder's ability to stay warm in extremely cold temperatures is amazing, and that's because he's a special kind of porcupine. There are 30 species of porcupines, and while most porcupines live in warm climates, the North American porcupine, like Wonder, have adaptations to survive long, cold winters. Wonder might look like he's just covered in fluffy fur, but underneath all that fur is over 30,000 quills. His quills are mainly on his back and his tail, which does leave his belly vulnerable, but it does make for easy belly rubs. Huh, buddy? The quills are made of keratin, like the rest of his fur, but they're much thicker with a pointy barbed tip. The spiky quills are a great defense, but they're not very good for thermoregulation, which is why they also have a thick coat of fluffy fur covering their entire bodies. North American porcupines don't hibernate during the cold winter months, but they do become less active and stick closer to their den. They might make their den in a cave, fallen decaying logs, or a hollow tree. If there's a blizzard or extreme cold, they'll hunker down in their den until it's easier to move about and forage for food. Wonder never has to worry about going hungry because even though it's cold, he'll always get a delicious meal delivered every evening. Wonder came to live at Animal Wonders when he was just seven weeks old. His mother had been injured and was brought into a rehabilitation center where she received medical attention. During her stay, she gave birth to Wonder. Unfortunately, mom wasn't healthy enough and she rejected raising him. Wonder was cared for by the rehabilitation center staff, given milk replacer and kept warm until a permanent home could be found. Since he was being hand raised, the chance for a wild life was no longer an option. When porcupines are comfortable around humans, like Wonder is here, they tend to come too close to houses and roads and are often hit by cars or they find themselves in life-threatening situations with people who see them as a threat to themselves, their plants, or their pets. When we were notified that Wonder was needing a home under human care, we were happy to be able to give him a safe space and a promise of lifelong care. Wonder is now an ambassador for his species, helping to educate our community about porcupine behavior, how wonderful porcupines are, and how we can live alongside them instead of fearing them. Over the last few months, Wonder has gone from a baby who always wanted to climb our legs and chew on our fingers to a juvenile who always wants to climb our legs and chew on our fingers. <laughs> but he's also becoming more cautious of new sounds and smells, just like he would need to be in the wild. Porcupines have this amazing defense system, thousands of dangerous quills ready to spike anything that messes with them. And that allows them to be solitary in the wild. They don't have to depend on a herd with dozens of eyes and ears always on the lookout for predators so they can dash away quickly. Porcupines can keep their heads down and simply focus on eating. And if something does come by, they'll be able to easily hear or smell them and have plenty of time to warn them off with their quills. Porcupines spend most of their time in secluded forests like our northern national parks. The closest national parks to us are Yellowstone and Glacier, and I always get excited when I see signs of porcupines on a hike. If you do see a porcupine in the wild, they're most likely going to be sleeping up in a tree. But if they're on a mission going somewhere, you can easily avoid being on the wrong end of their quills by simply giving them space. So of course, wild porcupines are going to see a human very differently than Wonder does. He sees me as a deliverer of food and sometimes a chew toy. We've been outside for quite a bit now, hanging with Wonder. And while my hands are cold, I'm actually feeling pretty comfortable. I'm really enjoying this fleece that was given to me by Parks Project. They're a wonderful group of people 
who are working hard to support conservation efforts. They raise funds by selling apparel and accessories made with sustainable materials to help you enjoy being outdoors and exploring nature, and then donating to conservation organizations. This fleece that I'm wearing is their Acadia Waves Trail High Pile Fleece, and my favorite feature is the elastic on the sleeves. I do a lot of work outside, and not only does this fleece help keep me warm, it's also easy to move, clean, and carry without the bulk of a coat or baggy sleeve. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye to Wonderful Wonder here, and you can check out the link in the description box. You can get your own limited edition 100% certified recycled polyester Sherpa and support Parks Project in giving over 2.5 million to organizations supporting conservation. Thank you Parks Project for supporting this video.